Mark chapter 12, begin reading with me at verse 28 as we start a new week in the Word of God. Let's get stronger this week. Mark 12 at verse 28 says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating, noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer. He asked him of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There's no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength. To love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. Jesus saw that he answered wisely, said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. Our, our reading this morning is rather self-explanatory, and I'm just going to ask you two questions really to consider this morning, really just one question, I guess. In light of all that God has done, is doing, and will do for you, what does God deserve? And really maybe a follow-up question, in light of all that God has done for us by way of mercy, forgiveness, acting in our best interest, knowing that God is glorified by our love for our neighbor, what type of love, what type of treatment does our neighbor deserve? Something to think about, right? What's your relationship to your fellow man? Is it love? Is it concern? What if they're of a different political affiliation? They're still your fellow man. They're still your neighbor. Your neighbor's anybody in need. We need to see others as the Lord sees others, as souls, eternal souls. So let's think about this today. Love your neighbor as yourself and love God with everything you've got. You know, we know that we show our love for God through submissive obedience, through faithful obedience. In light of all that God has done, is doing, and will do, what does he deserve? Would you pray with me, please? Father, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Father, bless us today with opportunities to do good, to show others that your way is best, that your way mm -hmm. does work. Father, we're surrounded by darkness. Temptation is everywhere. You know this. I'm so thankful for your word and the guidance and protection that it gives us. Father, help us to embrace it. Help us to have discernment and wisdom today. Father, we pray for those who have upcoming surgeries. We especially pray for our sister Jan McKnight, that all would go well with her. Father, we pray for our sister Clarice as she is rehabbing, that all would go well with her, be with Jamie as he cares for her. Father, bless us today. Continue to be with Donnie. Continue to be with Betty and Sandy. So thankful for their recent improvement, Father. Bless us today with opportunities. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.